Hello, welcome to today's video. I'm going to be sharing with you how I made this really cool Zelda theme terrarium. As you can see, you're going to need a variety of materials. You're going to need, first and foremost, a Zelda themed amiibo. You can also pick up some cool stuff off Etsy. I picked up a 3D printed goddess statue off of there. You need, your, um, you need a large container to be your terrarium, a variety of plants that you've chosen, a bag of pebbles, Perhaps some things from the yard, some moss you've collected, some sticks, some stones. It also helps to have terrarium charcoal and some microgrow potting soil. You definitely want something light and loose. And of course you're going to need perhaps a shovel and some fresh water to add to the terrarium. You definitely want to start with peeling the sticker off of the terrarium if you have one that was bought brand new like mine. It would be a lot easier if you could use a magic eraser. These are pretty stubborn. Now I'm just taking some gravel that I bought at local Dollar Tree. Well, these are along the lines of some pebbles. I bought one pack. This isn't quite enough. I would definitely recommend you buy two for a container about this size. And here we have some terrarium charcoal. You can find this on Amazon. It's a must. I'm not exactly sure what all it does, but it keeps it from stinking and it might have some properties to it that keeps mold from growing inside of the terrarium. But it definitely, from experience, I know it does keep the, the smell down. All right, now I'm going in and adding some potting mix. That's Miracle Grow potting mix, as you can see. This my go-to. I'm using a sh little shovel right there. You can also use a cup, a small bowl. And now I'm just going ahead and putting in my little link figure there. I'm trying to find out the arrangement I want of the terrarium. I'm going to go ahead and add in my cute little polka dot plants. Now I'm adding in a Venus flytrap. I actually wasn't planning on getting this, but saw it in Walmart and thought it was perfect for this fantasy terrarium. Now I'm just adding in some decorations, as you can see this goddess statue. This is also a good time to take paper towels or soft cloth and wipe out the inside of the terrarium and also the outside to get off any dirt that might have gotten on the glass. Now this is just laziness on my part. I forgot to pick up distilled water at the store, but I did have some water that had been in a vase for a couple of days with some rootings. So I just decided to add that to the terrarium and see how it goes. 
Alright, as you can see, this is the finished product. It did add a fern in there, which I really feel like helped flesh out the terrarium. I love it, and it definitely looks like a little bit of Hyrule in my home. It's really cool. Alright guys, comment below what you thought, and share your images with me of ones you've made.